Hey everyone, welcome back to our Hamilton Conversion Project here. I'm JP Hunt, the Rockstar Coach. With the last time we were here, we were looking at the main house where we took a single family bungalow and we changed it into a legal two unit duplex. That project's complete. When we were here filming before, the garden suite that we're adding at the back was only about half finished. So now that that's done, we're gonna go in, take a tour. And at the end of this video, you're gonna see the numbers as well. All right, we're gonna start our tour. We're setting up outside. So if you remember from our first video, we have lots of parking for the main house. The one thing that attracted us when we were scouting out this property to build the potential garden suite right from the very beginning was, do we have a separate entrance for the garden suite, separate access, private from the main house, and also its own parking. We wanted this to give us a bunch of options. So we could either look at a long-term rental or short-term uh, Airbnb or even medium-term Airbnb. So what we decided on this one with working with the investor, he's decided to look for a more of a medium-term Airbnb to begin with. So when we go inside, you're gonna see that he's put some basic furnishings in there. We're gonna show you, you don't have to go over the top crazy, but we have it set up so it's perfect. There's parking right here. We've got our own entrance as we come through here. It's gonna be, again, completely separate from the main house so that there's no overlapping with the tenants. And as we come in here, You can see here that again, because this is more of a Airbnb setup slash even on a long-term rental, we're only looking for maybe one or two people that's gonna live in here. We don't need much, uh, we don't need much backyard space or anything like that. So we have this set up as a privacy fence from the main house with the long-term tenants in there. And then as we come in here, you're gonna see that He's designed the space very, very well to make use for everything that you need to have independent living here. So we've got independent utilities to the house, its own heating and cooling. We're gonna have, we've even shoved laundry in here, along with enough living space that make it functional for, again, short-term Airbnb, medium-term Airbnb, or as well, long-term rentals. So as we come in, you can see, look at, we've only spent a couple thousand bucks in here. This is gonna be an Airbnb setup. So we've got a simple table, couch, Obviously we put the appliances in from the build, a few small things like Keurig coffee maker. You don't have to go crazy with these things, just basic things that people are gonna need. As we come in here, as you can see, we've got a nice, good sized bed. Again, just a basic furniture. And then over here, we've got the, the full bathroom and then we have its own independent laundry as well in here. So everything literally is in here that anyone's gonna need. Again, whether we're doing the Airbnb solution or we're doing the long-term rental because this is gonna be perfect for anyone who even on the long-term rental side, because of, again, independent from the main house, their own parking, it's conveniently located in a great area of Hamilton, and we can do a lot here with it. So he's gonna start now, the investor is gonna start with the medium-term Airbnb, and then we're gonna go from there to see and evaluate the revenue model as we go forward. Just a few things on the design in here that really, really make this uh, project stand out. So here we've got um, air conditioning, and then on the other side, there's a heater. Again, make this little garden suite completely separate from the house. So whoever's here has complete control on it. And then also you're blocking off the utilities when you're looking at billing. So the billing from the garden suite has nothing to do with anything on the main house. We've even got, if you look in here, right on the wall there, that little white box there, that's gonna be its own little on-demand hot water heater for this unit. So again, completely 100% separate from the main house. Got our laundry here on top of that. This can be, no one ever needs to see anybody living in the main house. And that is the key here for leaving the options open for this being, again, either an Airbnb or a long-term rental because it's got so many versatile options that make this its own little standalone house. Hey everybody, you can now book a free real estate investing strategy call with a rockstar investing coach, speak with an experienced real estate investor and get their insight on the next best step to take for you and your situation. The link to book a call at your convenience is in the description below. And now back to the video. Okay, so a little about the numbers we're talking about on this property. So we started, if you remember, a single family house. We'd probably be looking rent around 2,500 bucks a month on that. So now that we've changed that single family house into a legal duplex and we've added in this garden suite, we're looking between all three units to be getting in around the 63 to $6,400 a month mark. We've already got long-term leases signed on the main house, 2,400 plus all utilities upstairs, 1,900 plus all utilities downstairs. The tenants are also taking care of the grass and the snow out there. We're now looking at about 2,100 a month for a medium term Airbnb here. And then if we were looking to maybe make that a long term down the road, probably just under 2,000, so around the 1,900-ish mark for that. The other thing that, that the investor's done with this property, not only has he taken one single family home 
made it now three separate living units. Down the road, he's leaving this as a long-term buy and hold, but down the road when he goes to sell it, think of all the options now that someone has. You can either have an investor walk right in, buy an income producing three units on this one single family lot, or you could have a first time home buyer buy this property. They can live in the garden suite, have two long-term tenants in the main house, paying pretty much the entire mortgage for them, or multi-generational family living, whatever. The options are endless with this setup now. All right, so now that some of these garden suites have been done, this project was started back in 2023. If you think of it now, um, going forward, some of these investors, early adopters into the garden suites have really done some trailblazing. And by that, I mean, they're, they're working with the cities. So sometimes the cities, even though they were, they were liking the idea of garden suites, they didn't know about permits and all that kind of thing. So now cities are becoming more familiar with it. Contractors, you're starting to see a few contractors that are specializing now in creating the garden suites because you do need that when you're in there. And then also banks. So we want financing for these things. So banks are now starting to, uh, I, uh, are now starting to come out and recognize the value of the garden suites. Whereas before, yeah, they would look at the, the main house and that's all they would take into account. They would not take into account all the investment you had of the garden suite. But now more and more are coming out of them. We're basically forcing the banks to have to recognize the value that is sitting on the lot. Okay, so some tips and tricks when you're out looking for properties that could potentially, uh, you could create into taking maybe a single family home and making three homes or three suites on there. Here, we were really uh, attracted to this property because again, it was a corner lot, tons of parking. So now we've got independent parking for both units of the main house and the garden suite. Um, we're also looking at, uh, for yourselves looking at home, you're looking to want to research your contractor because your contractor is going to help set the budget that you're working with. And then also you want to have come into these things with realistic timelines because it's not just buy a house, do the construction and that's it. Remember, you're dealing with the cities. You got to deal with per permits to get things done legally and correctly because that's going to add more value to your property. Best case, you're six to eight months, but more than likely, most of these projects do take a little bit longer than that. So you want to think of your carrying costs coming into this and just go in with eyes wide open and not just sort of hoping as you're going through these things that things are going to work out. Learn from people that have been through before. Work with people that are experienced and knowing what we're what we're talking about when we're doing these things, and then that can help you find the correct property and identify uh, potential uh, projects for yourself. Another tip that we've got is also if you can identify a property that already has an existing garage on it, and if you can take that garage and change that into its own garden suite, that'll cut your construction costs down considerably, somewhere in the roughly the 30 to 50 percent level because you don't have to build the structure. So here we were able to use the existing garage. We redid the outside of it, um, totally gutted it obviously on the inside. It was just basically a cement block, so they've added in everything else. We had the engineering permits done to make sure that it was all good. And that's what you're going to need from the city's point of view for them to permit this into a living space. So if you can identify something that already has the garage there, that already saves you some money on day one. So don't forget, something that you can do now is have a free strategy call with one of the Rockstar coaches like myself. The link is in the description. So now you can talk to one of us and you can figure out what your short-term goals are, your long-term goals, where you've come from, where you want to get to, and how you can use real estate to live life on your terms.